Today I'm going to be reviewing this professional crepe maker from Kitchen Essentials. Those were recently sent to me by the brand. So I'm going to open this up, show you everything that you're going to get inside. So this is everything that's going to come inside. So you're going to get your crepe maker, you're going to get a book of crepe recipes, you're going to get these wooden utensils as well. Now this doesn't just have to be used as a crepe maker. You could certainly use this like to make pancakes or anything else that you wanted to cook on top of a griddle. So it's going to be quite literally as simple as just plugging it in. And then you can see here that it's going to be power and then ready. So this is going to be off. And then to turn it up here, now you can see that it's power, but it's not too temp. So let's go ahead and go about medium here. And then I'm going to time it to see how long it takes to heat it up. So it took about a minute 45 to go from cold to being ready. So that's this little green light over here. Now it's supposedly green, but it looks more yellowish here from the top. You can see that it's like yellow. The, the lens cover is green, but then this is yellow. So it's not exactly green, but this yellow far light here, that's going to be your ready light. So that's going to be when it gets to temp. So obviously, you know, I can turn it all the way off. It's still going to be ready. I can turn it all the way to here and it's not going to be ready. It's just going to heat up further than that. So I do wish that when it's off, it actually showed as off. You're just going to have to look at the knob. It also doesn't have any temperature gauges on here. I'm trying to be careful here because the hot top is hot, but there's no temperature gauges anywhere on here. So it's just minimum and maximum. So you just have to kind of fiddle. Probably you're going to put it somewhere in the middle, kind of like I did when I was getting this set. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this go ahead and cool off. And then once it is cooled off, I'll give you the measurements of this crepe maker in regards to the thickness, how wide it is, those sorts of details. So it definitely takes a lot longer than two minutes to cool down. Um, I've had it sitting here for about five minutes or so, and it's still going to be warm. Not too hot where you can't touch it. I splashed some water on it first just to be sure, but I just, did just kind of want to kind of mention that. So actual width across is going to be right at 12 inches, and this is going to be round. So obviously it's going to be 12 inches around as well. Height on this, let me try and get that on there is going to be about two and a half inches or so. So overall, definitely a nice little crepe maker. The fact that you could use this also as a griddle, something like that, because it has those little raised sides, is also going to be a good option. Give you a variety of different choices with this one. 